Paint. Yeah, I uh, got a little bit of free time thrown back to me. Uh, I just finished mowing the lawn. One of the best things about being a homeowner, and now we're we're doing some dual links a little bit. Uh, I made a video a while ago on the TCG channel that I want to try to like get back into dueling, dueling links content and stuff like that, because Tears of a Kingdom absolutely consumed my life. So it's great. I, I love Tears of a Kingdom. Don't get me wrong, but I, I kind of want to like do other stuff too. So let's go. Welcome everyone. Hope you guys are all doing well tonight. Not doing anything, so I'll be here all this stream. Yo, I appreciate it, man. Hope things are going well for the. Uh, I know you mentioned there like some things going on at the job, so hopefully that's going look going well for you, my dude. Look at this trash streamer, dude. Absolutely, ab absolutely. Um, I, I love self deprecation humor. Damn, I can't do English tonight. Well, let's go. Uh, we're gonna. I kind of felt like playing Harpies. Harpies seem kind of fun, I, I, I guess. Uh, I don't know. So we're going to be jumping into Harpies. So we're going to be doing that a little bit. PvP. PvP. Uh, so let's just do that. Finish off the last hour of work. Then time for the FF. The FF. Oh, you filthy Frank. No, I'm just kidding. I'm assuming you mean Final Fantasy. How are you enjoying the new Final Fantasy entry, by the way? That was okay. Life is tough, but we're here for the good time. So no, I'm open for me. I mean, I got to say, Ryan, like that's... A really good way to look at it because the way that i see it is that like i always try to look at this point of view like life has good times and bad times without the bad times how do you know you're having a good time in a sense if that makes sense so yeah like just keeping in the moment the fact that it's only you know a temporary thing and that there's the positives look forward to that's going to help bring you through a lot of it rp's in 2023 dude so good so good and we kind of didn't draw well at all at all <laughs> holy <laughs> all right uh let's go with chandler Aro guy thank you for the tier one sub for 18 months 18 months of poor financial decisions you know how to duel bro oh sure of course not i mean i've only been invited to a regional and uh you know a few other things here <laughs> i've only been playing since 1999 you gives what help for my basic mathematics abilities but welcome Haro guy hope you're doing well man Unfortunately, we kind of drew terribly, so I'm just going to have to try to make it work. What's the skill issue? Dude, so many skill issues. Music sounds like Star Rail. I... I lost... I have yet to play Star Rail for a very long time. I kind of... Did anybody else drop Star Rail too? Or is people still playing that pretty strong? Why didn't I change skill issue? That's why. You should trust the heart of the cards, bro. Uh, heart of the debit card, maybe. <laughs> That's Yu-Gi-Oh! in 2023. Heart of the debit card, the credit card, the financial strategy. Did you go to a regional? I did, actually, yeah. Uh, it was years ago, though. Um, it was a regional qualifier. It was actually the worst possible time to go to a regional qualifier because it was me to slowly transition into the meta. And that was during um, Dragon Ruler format. So I made a lot of mistakes. Uh, I don't want to chain yet to MST. We can. We, we can use that to pop something and bring it back. So we're just going to wait for that to happen. Uh, but yeah, the very first regional I ever went to was a Tier 0 format. That kind of that kind of shut me up really quick. So basically, everyone kicked your ass with what you're saying. You were there too! You were there too, man. It was Garden City. Uh, but I, I, for what it was, I did hold my own in a 2 0 format. <laughs> Congrats on getting to go, though. Oh, I appreciate it, man. Um, it kind of taught me a valuable lesson. I'm not a. Like, I'll be like. A slight me. Like, I'll be a little bit more competitive sometimes than the average player, but I won't be like super competitive. That makes sense. Like, I'll be a little bit better. You did better than I did. I mean, zombies did good, man. Zombies did good. The first Saturday that I started wrecking, I played for like 10 hours straight. It's really, really good. I had to go at least one of those days before Tears of the Kingdom. Oh, dude, fair enough. Fair enough, dude. Like, it's it's a good game. Um, It's just like there's so many other games going on. It's hard for me to like keep my focus. You know what I mean? Um, I don't want to change just yet. They still set the background so we can pop that. They might go for an Exeer Synchro, and then we might be able to do something with that. Uh... Can't really do much. Hopefully, they're just not going to keep the blue eyes on board. Uh, yo, they're doing the thing. All right. Um, 
cannot be destroyed by battle. I don't care. I'll pop your bro. I'll pop your board and uh, bounce your twin burst dragon. Let's go. And them only having one card hand kind of feels pretty good. Never complete to you, Travis Rio. Show me I didn't belong. Uh, d I actually love this card. This card is actually pretty old school, but I love it. Oh, why? Uh, Regeki Break isn't too bad, though. It's at spell speed, too. We can chain and pop something. Zordi, welcome. Good to see you. Hope you are doing well. It's always nice to have a new face join the stream. How was your day going so far? You will not change my destiny. No, no, no. ATM. Um, I, I wouldn't. Uh, there's a lot to commit with you giving the TCG right now, especially in the meta board. Oh, ending turn. Let's go. See, AJ, I had a plan. I had a plan. I knew what I was going to be doing. I knew what to do. <laughs> Have you tried the new Pokemon mobile TCG game? Uh, I played the original uh, client, uh, the TCG. Like, Pokemon TCG is actually pretty fun. But the new one just seems a bit off, honestly. It just seems a bit off. Um, but it's not too bad. What are your thoughts on it so far, Haruga? Yeah, yeah, sure. No, 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 AJ, I knew what to do. As you can tell, we haven't played Duel Links in a very long time. We got all the way demoted to bronze. Uh, well, that's, that's happened. I'm here because I play Duel Links. Yo, that's awesome. What's your favorite deck to play? That is fair. Although the physical meta is probably a region. Dude, uh, ATM, do me a favor. Go to YouTube. Type in Kashtira end board or something like that. It's great. There's like some boards where you literally have one monster zone. You can't do anything else. Also, Zori, thank you for the follow. I appreciate you. Welcome to the metal community. You had to use a big brain when you use the skill to play this game, right? Uh, yeah, sometimes. Uh, there are some formats with Yu-Gi-Oh! You could just, you know, summon Bujin Yamato and then Kaiser Coliseum and you're good. Uh, but no, like, you definitely need to have, like, you need to think ahead for sure. The fact not using meta makes me happy. Yeah, I try to keep things away from the meta because there are so many decks in the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG and Duel Links. It's always nice to kind of mix up and play something on a more fun side. You know what I mean? I uh, tied between Cosmo and Magical Muscle Computers. I love Cosmo. Like, they were so interesting when they first dropped. Uh, oh, we're playing Rose. Interesting. Uh, the fact that they took a hybrid approach from Star Wars and The Wizard of Oz is just so interesting to me. Not really couldn't adapt to kids these days. AT <laughs> I can imagine ATM and, like, Matt. Oh, I'm sorry, Haruka would be like, What is a co linked monster? What is this link summoning mechanic? Yeah, the game has definitely changed considerably since 2013 when I believe me and uh, Haro guy went into it. Bro, just summon true clean wheel clan it's not that hard. I don't want to do that. It's not fun. I don't blame you for not playing. With the Orcas meta running rampant, I'm sick of PvP here. I mean, the cool thing that I like to do is I like to stay usually below gold or in gold but before platinum. At that point, it seems like you're in the sweet spot for some fun shenanigans. That's the way that I kind of go about it. Hey, we got still got the new ability to learn for the new format. There's, I mean, Yu-Gi-Oh just constantly evolves, dude. They have to keep it fresh. I just like them. I'm sure I had Lance. Oh, Lance is a, that's an SR or a UR, right? Oh, no. They have forbidden chain. Uh, thank goodness for the MST. It's not ideal, but I kind of need to use this ability. I don't even know what a co-link is. I've been playing for a long time. A co-link is basically like when the monster is pointing to the link of it. So that's basically what that means. Um, I kind of need to, we only play one or two, I forget how many copies of this, so we're just going to get rid of the channel or we can recycle it later. Uh, give me Perfumer. Hello, Raptor, good to see you, man. Hope you're doing well. Do we know how pendulums work? Pendulums are pretty straightforward. Uh, you put a one and a seven, you can summon anything in between, so two and six. When a monster from, uh, when a pendulum monster gets sent to the graveyard, you put on top of the extra deck, and then you can pendulum summon it face up from your extra deck into one of the extra monster zones. Master Rule 4 really kind of slightly nerfed it, but it made it a bit more feasible. Zeta wants to return to target. Lovely, that's fine. I uh, can banish this. I mean, we do have access to Cyber Slash we get next turn. This is Spell Speed 2. This card's in your graveyard. I mean, that kind of sucks, because they could just Spell Speed... Oh, it's... During either players. Yeah. I mean, that's not much I can really do on that one, so that's fine. Uh, pass turn. Should have read the card. Um, that's how I know I'm a good Yu-Gi-Oh player when we don't read the cards. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Back in my day. Seriously. Like, I can already feel the pain in my, uh, my knees. The arthritis is kicking in. 
Here's my side of thing I wish they updated. I play with the OG Yukio characters. I like playing the OG characters, but not all of them can link summon, so they call it special summon. I mean, that's fair. It would be kind of nice if they did have uh, terminology for it. Uh, the second Yu-Gi-Oh movie, like, even when Yugi, or the Pharaoh, sees, like, a Synchro summon, he's like, Synchro what? It's a Synchro summon. It's when I take a tuner and a non-tuner and put it into the extra whatever graveyard and summon a monster. Yes, but what is a Synchro summon? It's a special summon. Oh, okay, a special summon, you see. We had that with fusions. Did you summon that from the fusion deck, you say? Actually, Yugi is from the extra deck. What the fuck's that extra deck? It's great. Um, we could chain. Okay, so we're gonna. Ch oh, return them in your next day, my face. Okay, I don't like that. So, we'll force the activation of Zeta right now, so I can at least attack for some damage. Um, because they're gonna force activate Zeta. There's no way they're gonna let this resolve. Because I could just chain Cyber Slash. And then bounce it back. They're gonna they're gonna chain it so that I can at least get some damage. Anime is old by ATM is old by anime standards, yo. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh movie man that reminds me of the uh, apparently the Black Clover movie is actually pretty good. Um, I've heard it's actually really good. I've been mean to see it myself. Um, yeah, I don't see it would be bad. All right, so now they're gonna chain Zeta. There's no way they're not gonna let it not resolve. There it is. I guess I messed up when Yugi said, what the fuck is an extra deck? Uh, it, it's in my canon, Yugi says that. Shortly after he kicked uh, Kaiba off the, the dock or something. Uh, let's see. When you control a level 7 or higher. Uh, we might actually just re-summon back our... We might just summon Oracle so we can re-get our copy of Elegant Egotist from the grave. So that's not terrible. And then we can swing in for some damage here. So I think we're going to do that. We'll say Yu-Gi-Oh is the reason why I learned to be a good loser. I wouldn't say that. Yu-Gi-Oh is kind of what made me have like a lack of trust because if I'm attacking somebody and they flip a mirror force, it's over. It's over, Kaiba. Um, but yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh kind of gave me trust issues. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. It did help with basic math, though. I'll look at that. So, I mean, I'm not upset with this board, but it could be way better. Vassal Rose Shoot. Special summon one Rose Monster from your hand or graveyard. In a defense position, this card is set to the grave. Uh, destroyed. You can target one of your Black Rose Dragon or mention that mentions it that is banished in your graveyard. Special summon it. I don't know. Uh, they have three cards in hand. Do we force the Zeta... They have yet to really use a lot of spell and traps, so I don't believe they might go for a secondary one. So I think it might be wise for us to try to remove the Zeta. Because I doubt they can OTK us. And then we could summon Harpy Lady 1 next turn and then use Elegant Egotist to go for either a rank 4 or a second copy of Cyber Slash Harpy Lady. I'm like really trying to think ahead while I'm tired AF. You get with the back row mind if the what if has he has drowning. Dark Beer Force actually wouldn't be that bad. It only banishes defense position monsters, which doesn't really do anything, honestly. You know what I mean? Um, so honestly, if they activate Dark Mirror, so I'm like, oh no. All my defense position monsters are gone. I have none. <laughs> Zerdy, thank you for the metal tax. I appreciate you. The Black Rose Dragon. I actually want to see the summon animation. What do we got? Key's got plot armor. I actually haven't finished 5Ds. Does she have plot armor? I gotta say, this is actually really good. I do like this. Black Rose is... I just love Black Rose's art, too. This thing looks sick. Especially the ghost... They blew up the board? Oh, yeah. They had this thingy, too. So that's fine. Well, the spoilers? Nah, I'm good. I plan on watching it at some point. So I gotta do this battle. <laughs> Dude, you're fine. I appreciate the one bitty man. Thank you for a penny for your thoughts. I appreciate you, Ryan. Um, yeah, that's an OTK. Uh, oh, I did not expect the OTK with the Black Rose with the Basil shoot, but I guess it is what it is. Damn, dude, 111 biddies? Dude, you're too kind. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate you.
Wait, where's the rise black dragon of the summon skull fusion? Uh, it's it's somewhere. It's it's, it's somewhere, Haro guy. Uh, call me Mr. Ryan. Thank you for the biddies. I appreciate you, man. Thank you so much. You're too kind, my friend. Uh, let me let me do something for you. Let me. What the f dude? One thousand? Holy shit, dude! You're way too kind. You can stop that now, please. Um, no, you don't need to do that. But I appreciate your kindness, my dude. For those who don't know, Call Me Mr. Ryan is also a streamer. They're currently a little bit of a hiatus. Definitely go check them out. Really, really nice and awesome individual. I appreciate you, my guy. Um, let me go find Joey Wheeler. Uh, and then we can show you something. It's weak now. Uh, but I also think it's just not the most consistent. Uh, like, if you, depending on the type of ladder you're going up against, you may be fine. But, man, this mouse is starting to suck right now. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, if you guys see me struggling, it's just because the mouse is killing me. Uh, we'll just pull up, actually, uh, my... I like giving bits. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. But as, I want to make sure that you're... You're okay. Like, you know, you're... You know, you're good. Um, I, I appreciate it. But make sure that you're doing, like, you know, financially fine before you throw biddies at me. But then again, I will take the biddies. <laughs> Thank you. Here you go, Haro guy. Uh, it's been a while since you played Yu-Gi-Oh! So I want to show you some of the new Renaissance content we got for the Red Eyes Archetype. We got Meteor Black Comet Dragon. This thing is awesome. Uh, this card is fusion summon. You can summon, uh, send a Red Eyes monster from your hand or deck to the graveyard. If you do inflict damage equal to a quarter of the attack of that monster. And this card is sent from the monster zone. Uh, you get to summon a uh, target of monster. Special summon it. You also got this bad boy too. I love this thing. Uh, if it attacks, your opponent cannot activate monster effects during the damage step. And if this uh, card attacks, you can target a red eyes monster in your graveyard, send it back to your deck, and inflict it for half the damage. So good. So good. I love the revampness of the red eyes cards. I just wish they were slightly better. Like, the one thing I really wish they did is make the Black Zone of Legend a tuner. I don't know why they didn't make a tuner. Um, F's and chance for that. There's also Red Eyes Slash Dragon. This one is also pretty good, too, but it's. Uh... It's the one you have to have, like, a good enough setup on board. It does have a negate when it has something equipped to it, but sometimes it just doesn't consistently pull off. So, yeah, it is a little bit outdated by today's standards, but it's still a hell of a fun deck to play here or there. And that's and that's fine with me. I play Duel Links to have fun. If, uh, if it just so happens the deck I love to play is absolute uh, trash, that's fine with me. If the deck is meta, like, yo, I will play it too. I like to play decks for the sake of having fun. Uh, I'm saying that because I'm trying to justify my win-to-lose ratios. <laughs> I'm so good at this game. Cubix, uh, most likely. Um, we got Channeler. We got Harpist. I mean, that's a pretty good combo right there. We can also use Oracle to special summon it. So that's actually kind of good, actually. Uh, I like this. Uh, so use Channeler's effect. We're gonna do this. We're gonna pitch the Channeler. We're gonna summon. But we'll go for the Perfume, but that's fine. Interesting way to play. Uh, I mean, I feel like it's the best way to play. I mean, the best way to play Yu-Gi-Oh! Any card game in general is to play the way that you want to, right? Because that's where you get the most enjoyment and fulfillment out of it. So if I like to play, you know, decks I generally like to play, that's the way I'm gonna do it. Um, and always then, like, if I'm just having a frustrating time with the game, then what's the point in, you know, just bashing my head against the wall, you know? Um, we can't search anything out with Oracle because it's spell or trap, so we might as well just keep that in our hand and use that as, like, a, a secondary. But then we will get a search from Harpist. So Harpist will probably get us a copy of Perfumer number two. So I guess that's fine. Yeah, we'll just send the board right here. I like this English dub. Uh, English dub. Oh, for Igami? Yeah, the English dub voice actor did a pretty good job for Igami. Fun decks are always be better than the sweaty decks, IMO. I mean, fair enough, yeah. Because, like, honestly, especially if you're being a free-to-play player, sometimes the grind to get gems is just atrocious. Remember how hard it was to get a fusion monster out when we first started playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Now you could fusion summon five Shawmockers in one move. Oh, dude, absolutely. The game is so much faster. For better or for worse, the game is definitely, like, uh, super fast. Uh, even then, if you kind of go back to the more of the earlier time of Yu-Gi-Oh, like GOAT format and some other formats, there was definitely some sauce in terms of speed, but it's nowhere near as fast as it was right now. Uh, and the dude just couldn't handle this. Uh, we summoned the Cyber Slash Harpy Lady. We had, we had the Regeki Break. It was too much for them to handle. Too good. I'm going to be an ass and just send him a nice. Uh, let's go. 
I mean, also, I just play whatever deck has cool art, looks fun, and for example, Timmons and Sprite. I mean, Tier Elements, uh, I mean, I I hate to admit it, um, I thought about playing it just because I think the art looks really cool. Like, sure, don't get me wrong, um, art, like, if a card's art looks sick, I'm not gonna not play it. I mean, one of my favorite decks of all time, I literally played it because I thought the arts look sick. Like, for those who don't know and do know, I love Burning Abyss. This is one of my favorite decks of all time. When it first came out in Duelist Alliance, everyone in my local card shop was like, yo, Shadals are going to be the greatest deck ever. And then you had the other kids who were like, no, oh, it's actually going to be Satellar Knights. They're going to be sick. And then you had the dude in the corner. It's like, actually, um, I want to play Burning Abyss. Give me your Dantes. Give me your Graphs. Give me your Farfas. Give me a total. And then, like, eventually people are like, oh, wait, Burning Abyss is absolute good. It's so good. I'm like, yeah, of course it's good. Like, look at the Mal branches. These look like straight up like Magic the Gathering cards, like in terms of like sick design, but it's great. It's based off of Dante's Divine Comedy, so who doesn't like that? Like, that's like one of my favorite decks of all time. Like, Burning Abyss, so good. I would be playing that right now, but I played that deck to death. Um, so we're bringing back something kind of a classic. A net decker? Pfft, no, there's nothing wrong with. So here's my opinion. There's nothing wrong with net decking. As long as you give credit where credit's due, like that's totally fine. Um, but if I like, you know, make a deck, say like, this is a deck that I put together using hours of construction and deck theory and playtesting for hours. This is my creation. But if you actually have like a bunch of like, you know, search histories and you turned out that you net decked it, bro, like, come on, what are you doing? Are we just doing ranked? Ah, uh, for now. I wasn't really planning on streaming at this hour, but I don't feel like doing it. Um, but if we have enough people who want to, I can open up, like, the uh, the dual rooms. Um, I'm just trying to farm for gems to kind of get prepared for stockpiling gems in case I want to build a new deck at some point. What deck will be best after the ban list? Wine for me, baby. That's a great question. Um, I am probably not the person to ask that, unfortunately. Uh, Speedroid seems pretty good, especially with, like, you know, the new support dropping. But for the sheer meme of it, I think I'm just going to say Ice Barriers. <laughs> Why for me, baby? Thank you for the follow. I appreciate you. Welcome to the community. I I net deck and I take my leave now. Dude, that's fine. Honestly, I, here's the way that I go about it. I won't net deck 100%, but I do look at people's builds to get an idea of where to go. But there might be certain cards that I'm just like, I don't agree with that. Or I don't like the application, so I'll switch out something else for it. Um, So I, get in, I, I do research and I get inspired, but I don't 100% copy typically. And if I do, I'll be like, bro... Um, I, I, this isn't my creation. Uh, I'm just facilitating it. I'm sorry. I copy tier list X. Whatever works, whatever works. Uh, I don't, I, uh, I have a pretty loose opinion on the whole factor. Uh, I guess we can go for, I kind of want to go for the OTK. So I think we're going to do that. You did definitely just add it by adding hand traps. Shh. Come on. What hand traps are in this deck? No, I'm just kidding. I get what you mean. Uh, no, no, no. Like, <laughs> what do you mean? The only deck I play in Master Duels is Dinos, man. Come on. Let's be real. <laughs> Heroes deck. Heroes will actually be fun. I would love to build Heroes, but unfortunately, it's uh, definitely a little bit of a costly figure because all the stuff's like in different boxes, and they just keep on dropping new support. Cyber Dragons used to be lit. They're still pretty lit. Uh, they're very much glass cannons. It's like, you know, winter bust. But it has gotten better, but they're still pretty cool, dude. Um, I'm going to chain the effect and then send Apple back to hand. Because I don't think this triggers upon target. Yeah, it's only on attack. They got nerfed, though. Eventually, almost everything gets nerfed to some extent. You know what I mean? Or just gets power creep. Uh, and that's just the name of the game with Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, evolution, things move. And also, of course, Konami needs to make a profit. Uh, we'll summon Harpy Lady 1. This should be enough for an OTK at 45? Yeah, we're good. Cyber Dragon is definitely one of my favorite archetypes. It's a classic. Uh, it's definitely a classic. I think Cyber Dragons are really cool. I never had a whole lot of experience with them until more recently. But yeah, no, Cyber Dragons are pretty sick. Um, right now, if I'm playing Duel Links, like obviously it's going to be like Burning Abyss or RPs, obviously, for my favorite decks. Or if I'm playing Master Duel on the rare off chance I am, I'm just playing Dinos. Though I've actually... Don't tell anyone, but I've actually been trying, and I've actually did build um, Despia Branded, which I do need to actually figure out how to play the damn thing. Big problem with Cyber Dragon, so now I can need to go first and go second. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can imagine like a Cyber Player is uh, Cyber Dragon player is like, all right, let's go. 
Uh, the opponent's like, okay, you can go first. He's like, wait, um, you want to go to game two? <laughs> That's how cyber dragons sometimes feel. WXYZ Zacks were too sweet. I love them when she did back in the day. Oh, it was a really fun deck too. Quite enjoy playing Ubel Fire Kings. I love Ubel. Uh, Fire King Ubel seems very fun, especially the synergy with all the destruction that Fire Kings can have. Um, but Ubel, it's just kind of a fun deck. So I don't blame you feeling that way. Um, I guess what we could do. Yeah, sure. Why not? I have a kaiju deck, and boy, I would love to stop going first. Oh, dude, I can only imagine. Uh, it's like, uh, sir, this is not how it works. Uh, I'm playing kaiju. I need you to put on a very powerful monster that I can just tribute over and give you a new monster. Th that's how this game works. You need to follow the rules. This is how this game works. Despia Brandon. Yeah, I'm sorry, AJ. You got to admit, Despia Brandon does look pretty cool. I actually have a branded uh, Fallen of the Albest playmat right here. My... Uh, Regional qualifier, like Yu-Gi-Oh! Playmat I've been using forever is finally showing some wear and tear. So I had to switch it over. But we're literally using Konami's, like, Fauna of the Albaz, uh playmat thingy. No, that, that they, yeah, you know what I'm trying to say. Question for the room. Did level monsters lead to the creation of tuners and pendulum monsters? No. Unfortunately, level monsters are uh, still kind of dead. Uh, I think they try to bring them back with... Uh, Armed Dragon Thunder, but I don't think the whole levels spark the creation of Pendulums uh, or Tuners. I think it was just Konami trying to make generic good stuff that would actually make them pop. Tunes need to come back. Tunes did come back, ATM. What are you talking about, baby? Uh, recently, we got a bunch of Tune support from like Toon Kingdom. There's also Toon Bookmark. There's uh, Toon Black Lesser Soldier. Uh, yeah, there's actually been quite a bit of uh, Tune support. Oh, they're playing uh, DDDDs, DDD King the Oracle. Ooh, this is gonna be rough. Arm Dragon Thunder is here. Yes, Arm Dragon Thunder is here. Uh, it's definitely a nice little revamp to it, which is good. Uh, during main phase, you can add one DDD from your hand by paying a thousand. Uh, checking grave. Um, they didn't normal summon yet. They did special. Um. They have King Swirl Slime. Could they go into a link directly after that? Um, sure. I'll I'll chain and then we'll put back the Oracle into their hand. Why not? I had no idea. Let's go, dude. Yeah. Um, ATM. Would that get you back into a uh, Master Duel, or are you still gonna stay away from that game? I used to have Arm Dragon Level Ten. It's a pretty sick card, honestly. Arm Dragon Level Ten looks super cool. Uh, you can target a Level Ten or monster in your graveyard. Do they have one of the Swirls? They do not. Uh, what is her target? Target of Supreme King Kaiser. So it's not going to trigger, which is good. But unfortunately, this is a tuner. So they have a 10, potentially. I'll just say to Master Duel, I definitely wanted to play. Um, Master Duel, I don't think it's a really bad state. Um, again, I'm like hovering between gold and platinum. So it might be fine. Uh... They recently, I think, just did a, like, kind of, like, dropping a bunch of, like, free stuff. Uh, so you might be able to log in and get that, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, three or more on the field. This card's normal special summon your field. This is on the field. They could target a DDD and then special summon it. So they're probably going to bring back King Kaiser, maybe, because it's 28. Uh, 20, so... Uh, yeah, we actually didn't open up the best here. So if we get OTK, that's fine. Ideally, I would have loved to have like a uh, spell speed two trap where I could just trigger and discard something off, but unfortunately not. They've been my boy totally awesome. So like, oh, why? Why totally awesome? He's such a totally awesome card. <laughs> I still love the name for that card, by the way, though. I still love the name for it. Share my decks here if I could. Yeah, I don't think there's a really easy way to do that uh, through Twitch, but I could be wrong. I'm gonna lurk for a bit because I got some dailies to do. Best of luck. Best of luck, man. Enjoy the daily grind for, uh, I'm assuming, uh, Star Rail. Appreciate you, AJ. Uh, we could technically use Harpy's Feather Rest, be able to get some more. Um, it doesn't have an effect negation, which is good. He'll be taking a thousand, which is nice. So if we could do 3,000, we can actually get a, a W. Um, I could do 
So first off, what we'll do is we're going to do Harpy's Feather Rest. Sprites, apparently. I mean, that makes sense. Uh, does Sprites have, like, a heavy water lineup in there? Or do they just use some kind of, like, water engine to make it work? Karma Cut's actually pretty good. Karma Cut's actually pretty good. We can make this work. Uh, so we use Harpy Lady. I hope we have a second copy of Elegance. Otherwise, we lose. Um, yeah, we definitely need a second copy of Elegant Egotist. Please have a second copy. Son of a... Oh, that's fine. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's been a while since I played this deck, so I didn't really remember 100% with the list, so that's fine. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 just attack, that's fine. My favorite was climbing ladder with uh, Paleo Frogs, Master Duel, Zosius were long gone now. That sounds like a fun time, actually. Uh, Paleo Frogs. Like, for me and my thing, like, it's actually hilarious. I used a modified starter pendulum deck for the longest time, and I actually got up to diamond with that. Like, uh, it was either platinum or high, platinum or diamond with that shit, and that was hilarious. Uh, and then eventually I'm like, okay, I need to switch to something else, because, like, burnout fatigue is a thing with playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Especially with how long some of the games in Master Duels are. So I'm like, all right, uh, during the zero deck event, I'm like, oh, let's just play dinos. That seems fun. There was, like, a few deck lists that looked pretty fun. Then I'm like, oh wait, dinos are actually a hell of a lot of fun. Like, really, really fun. And I just actually, I actually built the deck IRL too, because I enjoyed it so much. I find it cool seeing exactly how this deck is outdated. Uh, which one? Harpies or uh, DDDs? So I don't even know what's uh, actually in the tier list right now for Duel Links. I have uh, I actually haven't played Duel Links in probably about a month or two, to be honest. I've uh, been super busy with just life, but also um, Tears of the Kingdom. So, like, everything else has just been con falling to the wayside. side. Uh, tier list updated two days ago. What do we got here? Uh, da -da -da -da. Tier list, come on. Uh, Weird website's not working. Battle of you hates Duel Links now. You shut up, ATM. Why, are you, why do you be like this, man? Why do you be like this today? No, it's not that. It's just I don't have all the time for everything. I think DDD is high tier 4 right now. I mean, it would make I mean, I can kind of see that. Uh, I'm not sure either. I know DDD, last I checked it, it was around like... Uh, I think last time I checked it was like tier 2. But even then, that was a while ago. That was a while ago too. Um, I think the last time... Actually, I might be able to pull it up here too. So I want to say the last time we played Duel Links is like, uh, let me just check the most recent upload. Oh yeah, that's also another reason why I remember not playing Duel Links for so long. I was so tired of against uh, playing against Blue Eyes and Dark Magician players. You will never cease to stop seeing Dark Magician and Blue Eyes. It's it's great. Uh, the last time we played Duel Links was May 2nd, 2023. Love it. All right, that's fine. Wait, he's playing Neospace? I activate a spell. He's playing Neos Fusion as Kaiba? Is it because Kaiba is his hero? Get it? Ah, <laughs> uh, that's funny. If he hates Duel Links, I'm playing, I'm thro uh, paying throwing a Charizard at metal. You're paying, wait, you're paying a throwing a Charizard at me? I'm getting a Charizard? <laughs> if I remember correctly, that was uh, during Mech, maybe. Maybe. Uh, interesting. So, Brave Neos. Let me check the Grave really quick. See what else is there. Oh my god, we have no monsters. Oh! Uh, bring your son to work day. That's awesome. I love it. Uh, it looks like a completely normal deck too. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. Uh, does it need to have Neospace on the field? No, it doesn't look like it. Uh, interesting. So I think what we'll do is we will just MST the Neo space because I don't like that. Yeah, because you might have some other things too going on. So we'll just do that. Um, we have like, we have no monsters. I don't like this. <laughs> You're the wittiest person ever. Oh, I appreciate it, man. <laughs> I appreciate it. Listen, man, it's almost midnight, and my English is mid right now. Dude, your English being at mid is probably better than me right now, so you're fine, dude. 
again, when I was facing up against Zeta, I didn't read it at all, so it's fine. Uh, looks like the dude is just playing a Neospatian hero, so Jaden, uh, respect. That's fine. I set a car. Let me oh, no. Um... I don't know. I better activate Karma Cut. I'm going to activate Karma Cut. We're going to discard Hysteric Sign, and then we're going to banish the Brave Neos, which is actually great because it prevents, uh, whatchamacallit, from actually being able to protect itself, which is good. The ability to come, think of comebacks and make a light of any situation is a true gift, man. Oh, do I appreciate it. It's uh, 2023. After coming out of the pandemic, if we can't be positive and have whoopee comebacks, I feel like I will not survive in this job market. Are you doing ranked today? Uh, for now, yeah. If anybody wants to jump in, if we have like enough people to do ranked, uh, I'm sorry, like uh, dual rooms, I can definitely jump in and get slashed by the uh, the viewers. Absolutely. So we're gonna grab Hysteric Sun or Harpy's Channeler. Grab this. So we have a discard outlet, and I think we'll also grab. Um, I think we will grab Harpy's Feather Roast. Jester George underscore with a raid. Yo, dude, appreciate you. Can we get a shout out for Jester George? Dude, it's good to see, man. Hope you're doing well. Jester George, if nobody knows, is a phenomenal streamer. They also do Duel Links content, and they also kill it with frogs. Like, seriously, one of the best ever. I love the stream. Just seeing the frogs top tiers is so good. Ark YT, thank you for the follow. Appreciate you. Welcome to the metal community. Glad to have you here. For those who don't know, I'm a variety streamer here on uh, Twitch.tv where I stream quite a bit of variety of content, where I hover between, you know, main reliant release games and also, of course, uh, Duel Links, you know, once every four months. <laughs> so good to see you all. Hope you're all having a wonderful night tonight. I cannot wait to botch this game with my abilities and hope you're all there for the ride. The Shining Golden Touch, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Metal Community. Glad to have you here. Hope you're all having a wonderful day, afternoon, whatever time zone it is for you. Jester, how'd the short stream go, dude? My pre at you. how did the stream go? Uh, we are going to make uh, the card, and then we might be able to do the thing. Unfortunately, we do not have, um, like, Feather Harpies Hunting Ground or anything like that, so I can't really do too much on that, so it's fine. Uh, for now, we'll actually Harpies Feather Rest to see if I can actually do it. Holy shit, Aerok, thank you so much for the, for the, for the five biddies. Froggy deck is, uh, it's really good. It's so good. The fact that he... Like, the fact the man has so much dedication and awareness when playing with frogs, like, it's great. Like, some of the things, like, I've seen him pull off, I'm like, bro, amphibians hype, let's go. Frogs for the win, and I'm going totally awesome. It was good. Started with throw Jama and finish with the boys. Oh, you got to finish with the boys. You got to finish with the boys. Awesome. Much respect, my dude. Again, thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate your kindness. Yo, Mia Soda, uh, I got a, I got a... 75 or 25 percent of a monster that's your prop for yours if you want uh i don't have soda in my household right now it's pretty sad well we got some sparkling water does this is that sufficient enough <laughs> how are you doing i'm doing pretty good uh we're just doing a little bit of uh you know dual links obviously we're gonna be doing some more tears of the kingdom tonight that's gonna be pretty fun hope you're doing well dude anything new going on today the amount of staples you die in your deck means i'll use cosmos against Fair enough. Whatever you want to use, that's fine with me. Mirror Force in 2023. Yeah, there goes the trust issues again. Um, I'll just book. I want to keep my. I'll, I'll just keep that. That's fine. Just be aware of the untargetable, uh, unforgettable, or untargetable monsters. I got you. Yeah, because I think some of the ships can't be targeted, right? Uh, like Forerunner, Slip Rider might not be able to get targeted either. That will do. Awesome. I, I'm so glad that that will do. Um, yeah, the, there, there's like 20%. <laughs> Some of the cards never go away, do they? It just depends. It just depends. Um, obviously, like, even I kind of have, like, some kind of, like, you know, sentimental attachment to the Mirror Force. Because as a child, I never had a Mirror Force. So, it's kind of cool to see it. <laughs> Any tips for a new Duel Links player? Um, yeah, actually. Uh, if you can, figure out what deck you want to build early on. The reason why I say that is because Duel Links and other mobile games are pretty generous for the new player experience. So be able to get, like, the more of those gems and just focus on putting those extra gems towards the decks you want to build could save you a lot of time up front. 
Um, and of course, also like you know, see if there's any like decks that are easy to pick up, and play that like for sure. Definitely frog. Uh, definitely froggy. Froggy is tier zero. To fr froggy is definitely tier zero. Um, if that's the case, then uh, Jester George would probably be the one you want to talk to on that. Uh, we'll use. Oh, we should have got a perfumer. Damn, I'm so bad at this game. Because uh, we could have used Perfumer to actually search out for two spells from the deck, but that's fine. Well, actually, they're all in the graveyard, so we'll pretend I knew about that and just be fine. Heart of the Skill Skill. Uh, that's a pretty good skill, too, yeah. Just being able to tutor pretty much any card you want is pretty sick, so definitely not a bad thing at all. Uh, you can target a monster, so we... Uh, we can't do that, so that's fine. Uh, Mirror Force is at one, so I don't think I have to worry about running into a second copy of Mirror Force. Uh, we'll just make uh, we'll just make Mr. Spider. Okay. This one's for ATM because I know he loves spiders. Mr. Spider on board. Uh, we're gonna banish uh, the face down. I guess I never ever top sin. Uh, nothing ever top sin. What do you mean by that? Oh, we got Harpy's Feather Dust for the skill. I forgot about that. It was actually a thing. Um, trust issues are going to be strong with this game, so we'll just use it. Oh, thank God. Wait, that's what caused him to surrender? What? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> that's funny. That's funny, actually. Oh, that, that card didn't even do anything. That didn't even do anything. What, what are you doing? <laughs> All right, uh, I guess I'll pop up the dual rooms for now. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Oh, Sin, the spider. Yeah, yeah, Now I, I'm like, wait, what do you mean by that? Yeah, yeah, now I get it. Number 74 is the Sin or whatever. Uncanny of them. Spiders aren't the best things to have to deal with, so I get that for sure. I definitely get that. Uh, we'll, we'll do this duel really quick. Auto duel so I can, like, drink or something. Also, I should probably see if I have to leave here soon. Uh, we gotta. I do have to like do some certain things. Okay, cool. We're good for a little bit longer. I'll have to leave here soon, obviously. But yeah, we'll jump in. <laughs> Rocket pal, um, here, here. This, this, this is this is for you, um. I'll put it right here. The rest of it's yours. Uh, come over and grab it. <laughs> I'll leave it right here for you. How does that sound? Hell yeah. All right, let's go. It's uh, it's low carb. Uh, hopefully that's sufficient. I actually prefer the low carb over the uh, the actual, like, you know, green stuff. So, hope you're good with that. Uh, no regulations. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Dual timer. That's We're playing dueling, so it's fine. Uh, wait, I can't put my own comments? Oh, I can. Cool. All right, let me put my own comments here. Excellent. Comments of the addition. Comments will be translated to each other language. Uh, yes, perfect. Also, Rocket Pal, thank you for the follow. Welcome to Meta Community. Appreciate you. Uh, all right, so we're good. <laughs> you got to put the additional comments. Make sure people know what we're doing here. Uh, so let's throw the room code in chat here really quick. Uh, and if anybody wants to duel, you're more than welcome to jump into it. Uh, I'll be able to get some good duels in here and stuff like that. Ooh, Bad Luna, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. When are you going to stream Tears of a Kingdom? Uh, that's a great question. I will probably be streaming Tears of a Kingdom uh, today uh, in about, give or take about eight to nine hours. Um, I usually notify people when I'm going to go streaming on uh, Twitch through Discord and also Twitch does a, a push notification. So being followed or joining into that, you'll definitely get a notification when we do that. Whip out all of my decks. That's a that's a good student. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I actually have quite a bit of decks here. They're not like updated per se, but you know we have some decks. We'll start with harpies and then move our way. Uh, we have quite a bit of decks we can actually jump into. Uh, I still do. Cool. Uh, you got to protect my hand. You can't see my hand. We're going to do that. So let's jump into it. Zording, best of luck. Uh, I want a good clean fight. No Charizards. Banless restrictions are, you know, in place. Let's do it. 
Yeah, we'll probably do some Tears of the Kingdom tonight later on around 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock Pacific time. That's when I usually stream at night. Uh, I think what I'll probably do is try to go for end game again because we're actually at like the very end game. Um, so that'll be pretty sick. I'm looking forward to it. It's been such a fun game, honestly, for sure. It's my turn. Uh, I think what I'm about to do... It's actually not the best hand, but it is something we can work with, I guess. Yeah, we'll, we'll fill up this. Can't wait for the tears. You're about to hit the credits. Uh, I mean, dude, even then, after I hit the credits, I still got things I got to do. There's still things I got to do, things I got to see. So I might take the back seat, but we'll probably keep going. Because uh, I still need to do some, like, the... Uh, I still need to, like, enhance some of our equipment, get all the uh, great fairies unlocked and all the other stuff. There's just so much things to do. And, of course, the depths. Uh, like, the sheer amount of work you have to do in the depths is insane, but I love it at the same time. We'll set a card to and just pass turn. This is a pretty decent board, I guess. Oh, dude, absolutely. I can't wait for some of the DLC for Tears of the Kingdom. It's going to be really fun. Dark hole, all right. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, I mean, I might as well protect the monster anyway. Cosmo Luke Farm Skywalker Dorothy. It's so good because it's a quick effect. You can banish it to be able to special summon a level four higher Cosmo monster from your hand. I have nothing, so GG Farm Girl. Luke Skywalker Dorothy summoning Darth Vader, the Wicked Witch of the West Galaxy of Far, Far Away. Or I don't know. I, I, I don't know. The fact that, oh, it's Forerunner, uh, the Millennium Falcon, OTK. I love this game. Uh, GG, Zording. GG. Unfortunately, uh, I didn't really open anything responsive, so it's all good. GG, man. GG. Other beverages here. Because I got to save Rocket Pal's monster for when they pick it up. That's okay. But yeah, Tears of the Kingdom is like, it's been fantastic, honestly. Um, I want to say currently in my file, I have about 70 hours into it now. And that's like being maybe 60 to 70 hours. It's hard to say. I know we have like a ton of VODs archived back on the Metallic Streams channel where I kind of like archive a bunch of our stream footage. Uh, I mean, this is a little bit better. Sure, this is a little bit better. Uh, we'll use Perfumer's Effect. Uh, we have a terrible matchup, but that's all good. Because a lot of our stuff, unfortunately, does target. Uh, we'll use Eotist. Uh, we'll, we'll set up the same thing. If it's one thing you can't say that this deck is not consistent with just bring out Cyber Slash Harpy Lady, we'll do that. Yippee ki yay! It's Cyber Slash Harpy Lady from Zoidborg! Uh, actually, yes. Oracle in defense mode as well. This also allows me to get a copy back of uh, one of my cards from the GY. So give me back my elegant egotism. Pretty good. Again? Oh, that's fine. Um, <laughs> some things never change. I mean, if it was a good play the first time, you're going to do it a second time if you can. So, I mean, I get that. There's also pretty decent synergy, too, with the Cosmos, with them being destroyed. They could summon, I believe, a, like if a ship gets destroyed by card effect, I believe it summons a pilot. So that's fine, too. Tin can. During this play, you can banish this card from your gray. You can banish this card, special summon over to or higher from your hand. Once per turn, during the end phase, you pay 500, reveal three. Okay, so it's basically a... What's that Noble Knight? Uh, I forget the Noble Knight. He's like the dude who reveals three and you get one, the other go to the grave. I love Tin Can. R2, T2, and the uh, the Tin Man. It's so good. I love the art for the Cosmos, by the way. It's just such a cool deck. 
Yeah, we'll take the 100. He's gonna banish that. Special summon another one. Dark Destroyer. You cannot be targeted by your opponent's card effect. This card uh, is destroyed by battle or card effect. Set to your graveyard. Yeah, you can banish one special summon at level seven or higher. So since we can't target Dark Destroyer, that's gonna be kind of an issue. Uh, do I have anything that doesn't target? Yeah, technically. Technically. Okay, okay. I'm starting to see there might be a thin line here. Or the uh, there might be something I could do. But then again, it's still going to trigger its effect. So I might as well just uh, not even try. I'm just kidding. Fine. Um, we will go for Perfumer. Uh, we'll get Perfumer's effect. No, that's fine. Grab the only card we possibly can. Uh, for the rest of the turn. Okay, so order does matter here then. Uh, this does target. Okay, so zero fine. You are my last hoop. Even then, it's not like much of a hope because I could just replace it with something different. Uh, especially on the level seven or lower. And I think Forerunner is able to get over, which kind of sucks. Um, We will grab this so I can use it for discard fodder. Uh, so we're going to use her effect. So now that's negated. Um, unfortunately, I th we're going to use this. We're going to send back. We'll have some variety into the deck, so we'll do that. Not yet. Harpus. Good discard. So discard Harpus. We're gonna pop the Dark Destroyer within the gate. We're gonna bring out maybe Dark Destroyer. I'm not too sure. Or I'm sorry, not the Shark Destroyer. Forerunner. Which is still 28. Oh yeah, it's not a Harpy, so we can't use that effect either. We already did our normal summon. Yeah, this is fun. <laughs> this matchup sucks. Uh Harpy Harpus in the graveyard triggers, sure. Uh, yeah, I just, I, I just don't have it out for that, unfortunately. So I think, uh, Destroyer, yeah, he can pop stuff on summon. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's so tough. I mean, it is what it is. Like, obviously, every, like, you know, decks have certain, you know, strengths and weaknesses against certain matchups. My deck does a lot of targeting, unfortunately, ATM, which sometimes is not a good thing, because some cards have built-in protection. Um, so obviously I can't really do anything onto it. And even then, like I can kind of do with it with cards like Zero Fane, but it requires a bit of resources more than I can usually allocate towards to. And the fact that we also lost a straw man too just also hits my feels really bad. Uh but GG Zording, good G. Good job. Uh let's see. But yeah, like Harpy's not targeting. It kind of defeats the whole purpose of the deck because I can't use my boss monster. I can't use Karma Cut. I can't use Regeki Break. It kind of puts us in a very bad position at most time. Uh, I guess the other deck that we did recently build was Amazonas. We also did Necroveil. Bravekeep, which... Uh, nah, that's fine. Let's go with the tried and true. Uh, yeah, we'll go with this one. Why not? Yes, this one seems fun. We'll go with uh, we'll go with BA for a little bit. I think BA might have a bit of a better matchup just because of different cards that don't really target but have more like a field effect sort of thing. We should be good. back uh well let's actually reset this i actually uh prefer some of the like the more earlier songs anyway i think what we'll do again this is gonna be this is gonna be a shorter stream from the get-go i think we'll probably do maybe a few more minutes here maybe a few more games then after i'm gonna have to hop out and do some other things now that uh the missus is home uh and then we'll be back here later tonight for some like uh from a whatchamacallit uh tears of the kingdom tonight Cancel and reselect? What do you mean reselect? Like, choose a different deck?
Or do you mean uh, this one? Oh, I get you. I get you. Keyboard error sounds good. I got a half hour of work left for today's finance work duties as well. So good timing. Oh, dude, for sure, for sure. Um, just make sure you're uh, make sure you're not working right now, man. Uh, uh, here at Metallic Aerox, we don't condone gaming while on the job. We encourage it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Oh, just kidding. I, I would never advocate that. I would never advocate that. But if it just so happens to happen, you know, it is what it is. It is. Basically, I won't tell if you don't. I won't tell if you don't. All right. Best of luck, Zording. GG. Let's go. We never have multiple monitors while we hold on sit. No, no, no. No, I would never. Even if I could, I would never do that. I wouldn't. It, it, like, I couldn't. I mean, if I tried, I couldn't. If nothing's happening, maybe. But during the job itself, no, 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 no. Magical Musketeer. I actually don't even know what this deck really does. During the player's turn, you can activate... Oh. During the player's magical turn, you can activate a Magical Musketeer for uh, spent. Uh, you can... Uh, so this has to be face up to resolve. So interesting. So we'll activate a Book of Moon. What's uh, next up to our uh, stream? Oh, dude. Uh... Applying for credit. That's fun. Uh, we'll summon tour guide from the inner world. And then we're going to go do some light food shopping because we have like nothing at the house too. So a little bit of a fuller day. Uh, we'll use Phoenix Rhino Warrior. Uh, we're going to go into uh, D Dante. The mouth of the Travel of the Burning Abyss. One of my favorite cards of all time, by the way. Uh, just such a fun game. I'd go with you if I was nearby. Uh, no excuses. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, mill three. We didn't hit the card that I wanted to, but we hit one of the other cards I would want to. Uh, the Farf is a good hit. The Bar, uh, the Seer is a good hit, but I was really hoping to hit a copy of um, what you call it, uh, White Princess, because she's a light target, and that's actually kind of important for one of our big monsters in the deck. But that's fine. Um, send to the graveyard. We will send a scorn. We already hit Seer to the graveyard. Well, then special summon Skarm doesn't really matter at this point. Um, unless they have a hand trap, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I think they kind of figured as much as I was about to do. <laughs> um, because, like, the fact you can activate spells and traps from your hand, I'm like, that's kind of bad because I can't... I can't uh, really... Like, it basically makes their whole hand last. I'm like, let's book a moon at the Magical Musketeer. We should be safe then. GG. A GG, indeed. Musket run no hand traps. Oh, I did not know that. I've only faced off against a deck a very little bit when it first dropped, but it's been, like, forever, so I don't really remember what they really... Looking forward to chat and hang throughout as we always do. Uh, Metallic Dog. I need to I need to bring that back or something. Yeah, for sure. We'll definitely talk. Um, I also do plan on getting the... Um, the the next YouTube review done for Nicktoons All-Star Brawl, that Smash clone. So nearly finished with that project, thankfully. And thanks to Dustin, it helps make it a little bit easier. Um, so that's fun. For those who don't know, I actually have been going pretty heavy onto like making some YouTube content. So if you'd like to help support me in that endeavor, totally free. Uh, definitely subscribe to that channel. I just threw in the, the chat. Uh, don't have to, but it would just mean the world to me and I appreciate it. Uh, let's see. So they're summoning off of the monster again. Starfire does the same thing. The art looks pretty sick, too. Uh, this card is special summoned to this call me. Okay, so I can't really do anything right now. Yeah, I don't have to get, I don't have to, right? Yeah, you don't have to at all. You don't have to. Uh, you do not have to at all. I kind of hate, but also love how we're doing this again. So let's do Book of Moon. <laughs> JK, I'll go subscribe. I appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. We're at 246 subscribers, um, which is great because sometimes, as of recently, my beforehand, my uh, up rate, upload rate was abysmal. Um, but oddly enough, there was actually a video we did not too long ago for a Dragon Ball Z Kakarot review. And damn, that I'm actually very happy and super proud of that video and how it turned out. And also just reception's been getting. So, like, that's, that's pretty hype. That's pretty hype. Um, I kind of made a misplay. That's fine. Better don't you have my support. Yo, appreciate you, my guy. Uh, appreciate you. And I kind of made a mistake, but that's okay. Um, what do we get? I guess the... It, it's still worth it um, to do this anyway, so it's fine. 
Uh, wow, we hit all three scarms within the first turn. We are so good at this game. Uh, I don't know if they can trigger any battles, trap, or spells, or traps from musketeers during damage step. Uh, target one monster on the card, banish it. I don't know if they can do it in the banana shed, but we're gonna figure out this anyway. So we'll we'll take the gamble. Oh no, we're good. Y you see, that's one of the interesting things with Yu-Gi-Oh. Like certain decks can be shut down by anything. Like for example, I'm pretty sure if I did not open up Book of Moon for each of those games, we probably would have had a much different experience. GG. Appreciate you, Agemol. Thank you for this sub. I appreciate you, my guy. I have, like, other channels, too, but I'm not going to be too greedy. <laughs> I won't be too greedy. <laughs> you should have to be proud of that review. It's uh, extremely impressive. It shows that you have a natural state of discussing something you care about. I definitely deserve that. I appreciate that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It definitely counters that. Lance would be super huge because it, perfects, it protects you from having to worry about Book of Moon, so I totally get that. Um, hopefully you get a copy of Lance, because that would just be a great addition. Yeah, like, the, uh, the previous video we actually was Metroid Prime Remastered, which... Turned out also really well, too. Um, yeah. Uh, constantly going to try to keep on putting up more YouTube content. And hope you all are enjoying there for the ride. Appreciate you guys. Oh, no. We don't have... All right. I summon a monster in attack position. This isn't good. <laughs> this isn't good. I'm not sure that's uh, up to code with uh, snipers. Gains double its attack, but contact directly this turn. Interesting. So 4,000 defense. That's actually pretty impressive. Uh, Desperado. But seriously, that video got 10,000 plus. Not going to lie. You're entertained to listen to, so you can definitely get a review by reviewing games. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, ultimately, dude, it's... Uh, <laughs> I could still do something. Um, as long as I'm... Like, Pat, like, as long as I'm enjoying the content I'm reviewing, absolutely. You know what I mean? So, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the metal community. Glad to have you here. Appreciate you. Hi, how are you? I'm doing okay. I'm doing all right. Hope you are doing well to well. How's it going? The lightning vortex counter with the solemn scolding. We didn't even do anything wrong, but he's upset. Uh, we were a good boy. I promise. I did nothing wrong. I'm kind of, uh, <laughs> that sucks, actually. Um, we'll normal summon the tour guide. I'm kind of new to Duel Links. Is it okay if you teach me? Uh, I mean, we were actually, unfortunately, we we're about to end the stream here probably after this duel or so. Um, but before that does happen, I mean, I can try to help uh, with that time frame. What questions do you have on Duel Links? Like, do you know how to play the Yuga card game itself? Uh, what does this one do? Oh, double the attack. That's fine. You know, I mean, in the future, when I got a camera and a mic to PC, I'll try YouTube myself. Dude, as long as you're enjoying what you're doing with YouTube, then go for it, man. Um, it's very fun and just awesome to be able to kind of, like, express yourself in terms of content like that and find like-minded people who either share or even disagree with your opinions because at that point, you can have a discussion and it might be able to help you explore other people's point of view. Because, like, a lot of people who uh, watch the Dragon Ball Z Kakarot video review... A lot of people would be like, oh, yeah, this game is great. And then people are like, no, this game isn't as good because there's, like, Dragon Ball Z fighters, which is fine. Like, Dragon Ball Z fighters and Kakarot are two completely, totally different games that cater to different audiences. And I'm like, you know what? That's totally fine. If you like Kakarot more than fighters, cool. If you like fighters more than Kakarot, cool. Follow up to what you want to do. We pretty much lost, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> so we're just going to MST this anyway. Uh, we had a zero attacking level tour guy, so there's not really much I could do. <laughs> uh, but what kind of content would you make, AJ? All right. All right. Starfire. Yeah, we finished lost. Starfire, Casper, pretty good. Um. I mean, I don't know. We could potentially do something. Uh, Heart of the Cards, give me Crane Crane. I mean, I can kind of make it work. It depends on what they have in their hand. Uh, we can totally make it work. What's Link Summoning? Uh, Link Summoning is where you take a certain amount of monsters and then summon a Link monster from your extra deck. 
after this game, I will, uh, I'll try to pull up a copy and explain it to you. Do you know what synchro summoning is by chance? Yeah, we lost. That's fine. <laughs> uh, we'll give them the win. I think I could definitely be a good job doing a vi uh, vibe top career in the future. Probably gaming or reactions, even reviews and even in depth or even guides on what I want to be doing the playthrough. I mean, dude, for sure. I would love to hear some of it. You did a really good job with some of the uh, live streams from like uh, Legends and Duel Links from what I've seen. Yeah, a tiny bit. So the way that I kind of explain it, Link Summoning and Tuners, or I'm sorry, like Synchro Summoning are kind of similar, except for with Link Summons, you have to put them in this zone first and then put them in, oh, there you go, perfect. So like, see this card right here. So this requires two monsters with two different names. So you would need two monsters to link summon this. Once you do, you would put it in one of the top zones here. And then depending on where this red arrow points, it creates another extra deck monster zone where you can further summon more link monsters. So in this example, Zording would not be able to link summon here because this zone is not pointing down. It's pointing forward to my zone, which technically makes this an extra monster deck zone. You know, you complicated it? Absolutely. Absolutely. And then each link monster has like their own different arrows pointing to certain places. Honestly, if I did a pretty bad job, uh, if you go to yugioh.com, like yugioh.com, they have like a great tutorial to how to explain link summoning and how it works. Uh, but I'm pretty much bad. So it's just math, kinda. Uh, sometimes it could be that simple. Um, but it just depends on the type of monster. Like, uh, let me see here. Filter, because I do have a filter. Um, let's see. So certain monsters may have more requirements like this one, a Gabe Dragon. It's two or more monsters except for tokens. Uh, it really just depends on what the card calls for. Each monster typically is equal to a one link. Um, but that could also vary too. Also confused what's XC summoning. Oh, XC summoning. That's way easier to ex uh, explain on that one. Didn't she use musket against me? No, I never did. Uh, for XC summoning, it's just simply using two level three monsters. Um, so basically whatever it says here, you just slap them on top and you're pretty much good to go. Uh, XC summoning is way easier, uh, to explain, but honestly, like I would just go to Yu-Gi-Oh.com or Konami's website for Yu-Gi-Oh. They probably have a great list of like how to explain all the summoning conditions and also like YouTubers like, uh, Simo, um, Team APS, they all probably have, like, great content to explain some of the more, conven like, special summoning stuff from Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, but from that, uh, again, sorry about that, everybody. This is going to be a little bit of a shorter stream than normal. Uh, I'm going to have to hop out today. Uh, but we will be streaming again later tonight. We'll be going back into Tears of a Kingdom, and it might be the Tears of the Finale. Thank you for explaining. Yeah, no worries. Hope it helps. Appreciate you for dropping in. And thank you again for the follow. Hope it helps. Uh, again, I'm a terrible math teacher, but that's all it is what it is. Fantastic stream metal, you're awesome. Nah, that's you, ATM. Everybody have a great rest of your night. Stay safe, stay awesome. I appreciate your time. Uh, one of my uh, good streamer friends is actually currently streaming some art. So we're gonna go raid uh, Casey Gold tonight. We'll go do that. They're actually open. They're actually streaming a little bit more earlier than normal. So we'll go say hi to Casey. But everybody appreciate you. Have a good rest of your night. Uh, stay safe, stay awesome. And uh, the next stream will be later tonight at about eight hours or so. I'll make an announcement in Discord and also Twitch will notify those following the channel. Um, and yeah, everybody stay safe and keep it easy. Peace.